As we cruise to the month of February, PC Gamer is back again with a bundle of bite-sized demos and itch games. All the games listed this week were featured as playable demos, courtesy of the Steam Games Festival, which took place earlier this month. As always, links to everything will be in the description below, so let's get right to it. To kick off this list, I'm going to start with the weirdest game on the list, which is Critters for Sale. It's an anthology of five point-and-click episodes, with the demo taking us through the first story, titled Snake. If every other episode of the full game is as bonkers and surreal as the first one, we're in for a wild ride. The demo takes place in 2033 in a New York club called The Limelight, and what transpires there involves multiple timelines, secret societies, and tumbling headfirst into a situation where you're caught in the middle of a feud between two groups of astral beings. So yeah, it's uh, pretty nuts. Together with its stark one-bit aesthetics and almost hypnotic-like visuals, it's like staring to the white noise of a TV. It's an art style that looks both incredibly cool and super creepy. If you want to experience a psychedelic fever dream of critics for sale, you can play the demo now or wait until the game releases on June 3rd. I played a lot of demos during the Steam Games Festival, but Loop Hero is one of the most intriguing games I've played by far. It's a roguelike where, like the title suggests, the hero is walking in a continuous loop, slaying monsters as they go. You play as a sort of omnipresent overseer and never get directly involved with the combat. You decide what to equip from your hero's spoils and what terrain cards to place on and around the loop. Placing down terrain cards in the surrounding black void boosts your hero's stats and spawns more enemies. It feels like you're a godlike entity, always on the outskirts of the hero's journey, crafting the world map and manipulating the story. Coupled with the intriguing story of a world swallowed in darkness and a population suffering from mass amnesia, make sure you don't miss out on Loop Hero. It's already made a great impression on the PC Gamer staff, with Morgan calling it this year's first slam dunk. Potion Craft is an alchemist simulator where you run a humble potion store in an abandoned wizard's hut. Using the plants and mushrooms found in your garden, you need to brew potions and then sell them to customers, fulfilling their orders and making a profit. The best part of the demo is obviously the potion brewing. It's a clever system where your current concoction is displayed on a magical map, and you'll need to add different ingredients to control the direction which the symbol travels. When the little bottle lands on the potion symbol, you can begin to heat the cauldron and a potion will start to brew. It's a fun crafting system and it's made all the more enjoyable due to the medieval manuscript aesthetic that brings everything together. Potion Craft doesn't yet have a release date, but it's due out sometime this year. As soon as I read the words LGBTQ space opera, I knew a long journey to an uncertain end would be great. It's a spaceship management sim where you and your ragtag crew need to bounce from planet to planet, trying to survive your journey through the outer reaches of the galaxy. The residents of every planet and space station will always have jobs that need doing, and you'll need to assign your crew tasks based on their skills to earn money, fuel and resources. After playing the demo, I loved getting to know each of the game's diverse crew, which also included an adorable holographic corgi, which was great. The demo for A Long Journey to an Uncertain End is available to play over on Steam, and if you want to support the game further, developers Crispy Creative are currently running a Kickstarter campaign to fund the game's development. So check that out if you want more queer space drama, because I definitely do. 